This week on Apply Creative, we're going to be having a look at a package called Destructible 2D. So this package is really good uh, for 2D projects uh, where you want to have destructible terrain or destructible uh, enemies, anything that you want to be able to hack away at. This is a really fun way to do 2D terrain manipulation, so um, let's import it and see what you get in the package. Okay, so in the Destructible 2D package we have documentation, so there's a few um, FAQs, readme files in here. So the readme file is quite simple, uh, they do mention a YouTube channel here, so there should be plenty of tutorials over there. Uh, let's have a quick look. Okay, so we have a tutorial here that's about 11 minutes long. Uh, from memory this is where I started when I first downloaded the package, so I believe the content is quite good and easy to follow. Okay, we have a bunch of editor scripts, uh, some examples that we'll come back to, uh, materials that will be used. In the scripts folder we have all the scripts that will be used to um, make your items destructible. And sprite shaders. Okay, so let's open up the examples and have a look at what we have here. Okay, so we can left click to spawn an explosion or right click and drag to slice something. I really like the slice, it reminds me a lot of um, Fruit Ninja and games like that. Okay, here we have a Christmas tree. But do a few explosions, you can see how um, it now breaks into multiple parts and those parts fall uh, apart separately. And I believe in the finer settings you can set how many parts you want as a maximum before things start spawning. But uh, yeah, you can keep destroying this as much as you want. So you can see with this one, this egg has started to crack because I've hit it with this object. If I keep hitting it with objects, it will crack more. So this is actually replacing sprites uh, rather than cutting away sections. And there we go, it's now broken. This has to be one of my favourite packages to just jump into and play around with. Okay, now we have sheets of breakable glass. We can wind things up in intensity so that when it gets hit, it will do damage equivalent to the velocity. Okay, so we could really keep destroying things all day. Uh, you can see there's some really cool effects here. I really like how that, the screen shakes on this one when you hit something. Uh, so how easy is it to include this into one of your projects? So let's say you have a game with existing sprites you want to work with. Uh, under components, there's Destructible 2D. So this is where you can add any of those uh, object scripts. So for example, there's this D2 Destructible one. That would be your starting point for making something destructible. So here's an example of that. Uh, once it's included, uh, it will add a couple of other scripts with it. Um, so it has its own control over the sorting layers. Uh, it has its own colliders and it will build its own mesh. Uh, but the main place where you're going to be controlling it is in this section here. You'll notice under the main camera as well there is um, this uh, D2D camera shake. So it's a shake effect. Uh, we also have the drag to shoot. So here we can choose which button uh, is triggering the action what the visual prefab is and what the impact prefab is. So we have red explosion. I could also change that to green explosion. So if I run that again, we now have a green explosion effect. If I go to my green explosion, you'll see that it's a simple particle effect, but it also has uh, some other scripts here as well, including this D2D explosion. So here's where you can set some of the finer details of that, um, including the shape of the explosion. So at the moment it's star. I could put in, say, a uh, ring for example. Now when I build and run again, we have a ring explosion effect. Okay, so we have some settings here to set the size of it and the amount of damage and force that it produces. This is really handy in physics games where you want your bigger explosions to have more force behind them and do a lot more damage and also have a bigger blast radius. 
Alright, so we've only just scratched the surface of what this um, package can do, and as you can see it's rather easy to uh, incorporate. Uh, here's another example where the damage uh, actually heals itself over time. So I can click as much as I want and uh, after a set period of time uh, that will then heal itself. And you can see that's just another script that's been added on, the D2D heal damage. So there's a lot of stuff under the scripts folder and it can all be used uh, in interesting ways. Okay, so how much will this package set you back? Uh, at the moment it's on sale for 30% off at um, $34.99. Its regular price is $49.99. So it's not cheap for a script package, um, but uh, as you can see it's designed rather well uh, with easy to interpret uh, components. Works really well, performs uh, great even with a lot of um, objects on the screen that can be destructible. Uh, it's very well supported, so it was originally released in May 2014. Uh, the current version 2.1.4 uh, was released uh, just a couple of days ago on November 21st. So I'm currently recording this uh, late November. So if you're looking to make a game like say uh, Team 17's Worms, or something similar to that, uh, you really can't go past this package. It's uh, got everything you need to, uh, to be able to make that sort of game. It has plenty of examples of everything you can do in it, so uh, no matter what you want to do, there's something that you can find to show you how to do it. Uh, if you watched our previous video on 2D DL, the dynamic lighting package, uh, this is fully compatible with that uh, from my own testing. So I really can't fault this package, it has everything that you uh, really need to be able to make destructible 2D objects. So once again, it's got to be a thumbs up from me, and uh, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for watching, if you enjoyed this series please like and subscribe. We have new videos every Tuesday and every Friday. If you would like to support this channel, uh, there is a donation link in the description. Or you could check out our latest products on Udemy, which are also linked in the description. One of our latest courses is for Unity Editor Scripting. So if you want to learn how to dress up your components so that you can sell them on the App Store, that would be a great place to start. If you would like to suggest a package for us to review, uh, please leave a comment down below. Or if you want me to review your package, uh, please reach out to me on applicreative.com forward slash contact and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.